Thanks, Deb. You'll notice my wife is standing right by to make sure what I say. Um, in fact, there are three people here. I'm not going to cite a lot of people individually, but there are three people here. I have to tell you, they're sitting in front. Uh, Connie Braun, Marie Neumeyer, and Joe Parenti, who are from the city council office. Great staff people. And I'm very glad they're in front of me because if any of you watch the city council meetings, they usually sit behind me. So I never get to see the expressions on their face when I say those totally inappropriate things. So I'm happy this morning that I'm going to be able to see their face. There are so many people... So many people, though, to thank, and I'll thank a few of them. Chairman Ed Cox, and I know Ed had to leave, um, but he has done a tremendous job rebuilding and building our state Republican Party. I know he'll continue to do that, and I congratulate him on his re-election. Our county chairman, Doug Colty, who has not only been a great county chairman, but a great friend and a great aide in this campaign, as has my city chairman, John Chicano. Thank you. Mayor Phil Amicone, and yes, we have had a scuffle or two, um, but, but Phil is absolutely right. It's always been professional. It's always been two men uh, who feel passionately about this city, working, uh, not always agreeing, but that's part of the passion. Uh, it has been a pleasure to work with him for the last eight years, um, and it has been a pleasure to see him lead the city, and I thank him as well. Fisherman and County Executive uh, Rob Baxterino. Rob, um, if an octopus is the worst thing you pull out of that river, then you're good. And I have to ask you though, when you threw that octopus on the back of that DPW truck, did you happen to notice which one of the family was driving the truck? Because as you know, you have a choice in 19 in county government. Our county legislative candidates, um, and, and we really have the A-team. Um, my county legislator, Gordon Barrows. Gordon, yeah. good luck. Yeah. Every, everybody's county legislator, Bernice Freckman. Yeah. And the next great voice in Yonkers, my friend, Carmen Gomez Goldberg. on Tuesday and I look forward on January 1st to standing on a stage and beginning four years with great people. Now what does it say about a party when two of their candidates can't be here because one's coaching kids football and the other one's in the pulpit preaching? Brian Carter, Deacon Brian Carter in the first district and Mike Meyer in the third. Two great candidates. And I'm coaching football when I was a kid in high school and he was a football coach just a couple of years older than me down at Fordham and he's been a friend ever since and he will be, you know, I tell people, they ask me all the time, gee, do you regret those term limit things now? And I tell you, I don't regret it one bit. I hope to be your next mayor, but if I am not your next mayor, I am thrilled to turn the 5th District and its representation over to a great man, my friend, Mike Green. that there was another event in town today over at the Polish Community Center, or as a, a friend of mine likes to call it, the Polish Hilton. <laughs> and I'm sure they had a big crowd. They always get a big crowd. And, and they had the governor there, so I'm sure lots of people came to watch. In fact, I understand it may have been the largest gathering of Mike Spano's friends and family since the grand jury was in panel three years ago. <laughs> oh, come on, now I hope that you can enlighten them. Come on, come on. You're going to make her nervous. Actually, I think Andrew Cuomo is appropriate. Um, you know he was the former attorney general. There are any number of people down at the Polish Center who are used to being in the same room with prosecutors. <laughs> Typically, they're sitting on opposite sides and waiting for a verdict, but today they were having breakfast. But you know, 
Something that Rob mentioned about bringing Albany to Yonkers. A lot of people like Andrew Cuomo. I'm sure he's a very nice man. I believe he's a Fordham guy. He's got to be a nice man. Andrew Cuomo claims to have solved the budget problem in Albany. But Phil could tell you and Rob could tell you he didn't solve any budget problem in Albany. He just pushed that budget problem down to the local level. Well, when he ran, he also promised that he was going to get rid of the corruption and the dysfunction in Albany. And ironically, his endorsement this morning means he's going to solve the problem the same way. He's just going to move all the dysfunction out of Albany down to Yonkers. That's his plan in any event. You know, Mike Spano and I could not be more different. I'm tempted to answer my cell phone, but I'm got in trouble for that the other day, if any of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Spano and I could not be different. In fact, uh, Rob mentioned that this whole campaign reminded him of an old TV show. I said, The Odd Couple. He said, No, Three's Company. So we got that other candidate out there. <laughs> and I know what some of you are thinking, but I, I'm not going to say it. Um, and it has been it has been a great campaign. We've had a lot of fun. We have worked hard. There are people everywhere I look here, behind me, in front of me, and on every side who have just done great things and been so helpful to me and so helpful to my family. Uh, but it's also been a tough campaign. One of my favorite old-time Republicans, Theodore Roosevelt's daughter, Alice Roosevelt, was famous. She had a needlepoint pillow she kept in her house until she died, and I think she was over 100 when she died. And the needlepoint pillow on her couch said, if you don't have anything nice to say about somebody, come sit by me. <laughs> well, here in Yonkers, they've updated that recently electronically. It's now, if you don't have anything nice to say about somebody, buy a lot of commercials on Channel 12 and just run them 24 hours a day. Any of you who have watched Channel 12 recently know the beating they're taking, or I'm taking, we're taking. I got my wife very concerned about it last night, and then Marie, who I mentioned before, called me at about 10 o'clock last night, and she was beside herself with what they were saying on Channel 12 and on the blog. And I said very simply, I'd be a lot more trouble if they were ignoring us. Hmm. If they were ignoring us, it would mean they thought they had this in the bag. But when they are beating you over the head in the mailbox and on TV 24-7, you know they're scared, and they should be. If you are 57 years old or younger, put your hands up. I just want to let every one of you know that you were not even allowed to vote when the Spanos took over Yonkers. That's how long it's been. <laughs> you were all in high school or younger. Most of you, many of you probably weren't even born. It has been 40 long years and enough is enough. We are going to end the governmental corruption. We are going to end the inside deals, the backroom deals, the under-the-table deals, and the double deals. Once and for all, we're going to end it, and we're going to work with Rob and with so many other great elected officials to do that. And we're yeah. going to begin on Tuesday.